the lobby of the Center on High. I'm at the intake and referral desk. We receive 100 calls a week from people all over the community in Central Ohio asking questions from where do I find a good lawyer, how do I get a doctor that's gay friendly, uh, where's the best place to live if you're gay and, and you want to live in Columbus. These are just some of the questions that we get that are kind of casual and then we get some very important questions like maybe uh, I'm coming out and I have to tell my family and I'm not really sure how to do it, where do I go? So we have lots of volunteers that man this desk every day from 9 to 5 and they answer questions and help people and refer them to the help that they need. As you can see, the lobby of the Center on High is pretty spacious. We just gave it a brand new paint job and there's nothing like a fresh coat of paint to really brighten up a place. We've done a lot of renovations this year, at least in the last half of 07. And one thing in particular that we're very proud about is our handicapped accessible bathroom that we just uh, created out of a bathroom that was already here. We expanded it, and so I'm going to give you a look. Like I said, this bathroom already existed here at the center, but what we did to make it ADA compliant is we widened the door here. We also uh, opened up the sink underneath so that a wheelchair can roll underneath here. And then we added the ADA compliant bars that are right around the commode area. And we also installed an automatic light so that when the door opens, the light comes on. So we're ready for any of our volunteers, which we do have one that's in a wheelchair, and any of our uh, participants that want to come in that are, happen to be in wheelchairs, now they have a place that they can go and feel comfortable. This is our downstairs boardroom, and we can seat probably about 10 to 12 people in this room comfortably. We can also display different things if you need to for board meetings and uh, other types of discussion groups that happen here at the center. This is art that was made by Mr. Tom Brody, and it is a wonderful piece of art that hung in his restaurant out on Main. And we love having it here because it always has all the civic, civic leaders and, and people that have made a difference in the GLBT community. On April 7th, 2007, Stonewall Columbus opened the multi-purpose room upstairs called Studio One. We received some funding from the City of Columbus and also from the Columbus Stompers and we created a multi-purpose room for the community. Now why this was so significant is because before that, we actually had some of these offices rented to other people. So it was not really all Stonewall Columbus until April 2007. So we're very proud of our multi-purpose room and I'm going to give you a little peek. So this is Studio One. It's 800 square feet and we use this room for a wide array of activities. We have theater, up here, we have forums, we have speakers, we had a candidates night where all the candidates for city council and some of the judges came up here and talked about their candidacy and met some of our community. Uh, we also have classes like yoga and fitness. So it's a wonderful multi-purpose room, but the first thing we had to do to make this usable for the public was we had to put a new 91% energy efficient air conditioner and heating unit up here. We're very pleased that we were able to accomplish this and make this space usable for the community. A room with a view. There's even a sunset right outside this window. What do you think about that? This is our smaller conference room. It's right across from Studio One and oftentimes we turn the rooms in this organization over two and three times a day so we get pretty full. So it's great to have a smaller room for smaller groups to use on nights like that and this is the small conference room upstairs. Uh, having transgender speech therapy in this room. We have a woman named Allie Rivero and she is a licensed speech therapist and she came to me with a plan to be able to offer these services to our transgender community for a, a lower cost than they would be normally if they weren't here at the center. So we were grateful to be able to partner with her to be able to offer it to our transgender community here in Columbus. 
This is another piece of art that was donated by Mr. Tom Grody. We love this piece. It hung in out on Maine for many, many years. And it's about 16 feet long, so we needed to find a wall that could hold it and give it its due. But this is a wonderful piece of art that we cherish. And it's all about the civil rights struggle that we all feel that we have every single day. And it's got images of the state capitol. It's got images of civil rights leaders. And uh, at the bottom of this art, there's a saying, and, and I always look at it oftentimes um, when I'm uh, having a bad day. <laughs> and it says, uh, the great work begins. And I think that's what uh, we've been doing for about a year, is letting the great work begin and trying to get this building usable for our Columbus community. But also, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. We haven't begun yet to show you the 4th Street Annex, but that warehouse is going to need a lot of work as we grow in the future. But we'll be showing you that, I'm sure, at our next meeting.